All right, we are back with more Trails from Zero. It's your boy Top Cat the Gamer. We're going to get on with the rest of the quest that we're on, the search for Colin Hayworth. Um, yeah, we've been trying to find this kid, and apparently he's lost. And we're going to head into West Street now. Hope you guys are doing well. All right. So here, I think the first thing we want to do is probably go to Morges, or is it? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, let's talk to Bennett. Huh? I feel like I've seen this kid around before. Definitely haven't seen him today, though. I noticed if a little kid were here by himself. I see. Thank you for your cooperation. Let's go talk to Oscar. Good to see you, Lloyd. And who's this lovely little lady? What are you two, uh, two up to? We're trying to find a missing person. Have you seen this child in this photo? Okay. Hey, isn't that Colin? Wait, you know him? Yeah, he lives in a residential district, I think. His family comes by here to buy bread every once in a while. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him today. Actually, I didn't see them around here during the parade either. Thought so. All right. Thanks for the info. You've been a huge help. All right. Head over to the apartments. Craps this way. This is so weird from the, uh, different from the Trails of Coast Hill setup. How they got these apartments. All right, let's talk to the uncle and auntie. I'm sure Uncle Miles saw the parade. We should try asking for details. Hey, Uncle Miles, do you have a second? Something I need to ask. Show in the picture. Is this the child you were talking about? It looks exactly like him. I'm pretty sure I've met this kid recently. Seriously? Yep. He bumped into me while I was walking down E Street. I believe he ran up north from there. He ran north from E Street. That means he headed to the Harbor District. Yeah, sounds likely. Thanks a lot, Uncle Miles. You've been incredibly helpful. Oh, Lloyd, you said you were looking for Mr. Child? Thinking back on it, your uncle did meet the little boy. He was standing out there all alone, so we wondered uh, where his parents had gone. And they didn't, nobody thought to do anything. Like, you, you how you like, we saw his parents, like, we saw that his parents were not there, but, you know, we just kind of left from there. It's all good. Talk to Tally. <clears throat> A child has gone missing? That's horrible. I missed the parade today, so I only caught a few, a couple of glimpses of it from afar. I was so far away, I don't think I can really be of help to you. All right, thank you anyway. And we go talk to Grimwood. Uh, well, only temporarily. Might ask you a question about Colin. Her son is gone missing? I'm sorry, Lloyd. Right before the parade started, a client ran in here looking for some business advice. Still haven't had a chance to go outside. I see, even so, thanks for your help as always. You know, I imagine Mrs. Haywood is beside herself with worry. Okay, Lloyd, you must find this boy. Hmm. Yes, sir. Does he know something about this that we don't? That should about cover West Street. I wonder how the search is going for everyone else on uh, everyone else then. Yep. So Grimwood knows about it. What happened to them previously? Hi, Lloyd. This. ああ、
探ってもらったんですそしたら桟橋から階段を登ったところで突然匂いが途切れたそうです、oh boy. 匂いが途切れたなたは、キネヒ、インタビュー、アヴィヒヒコ。カイズ、ユフェルントのリブステンプスティーベイ、サモカルムウェイ、ユクスメルボーセンス。そう、アルティーミペサレ、ニオイガソトニモレナイパシャ。Yep。ナンラカノシャリオニノリコンダカノセガアルカモシレナイナ。もう一つ。She was just like, Y'all moving too damn slow. <laughs> This is hilarious. Bro, she is going at it already. Now, she said,、uh, George, but I, I wonder if that's the same George from Trails of Cold Steel. So I'm, I'm just, I don't know. What is a pot of matter? <laughs> so she's kidding. Finally changed up.
さっきから何やってんのか完璧についていけねえんだがなるほどあなたがキティなんですね、oh, she it out pretty fast. おいおいマジでどうなってるんだよ<笑>お姉さんも昨日は遊んでくれてありがとうでも今はそれは後回しにした方がいいんじゃないかしらまあ確かによし早速連絡してみよう、うん、もしもしどちら様あえっとクロスベル警察特務支援課の者ですが<笑>よかったギルドが警察あたりに連絡しようと思ってたんだでも俺どっちの番号も知らなくてそれで親父に連絡してお落ち着いてください慌てているみたいですけど一体何があったんですかよ、カレンマン、What is wrong with this kid, man? 今俺、ニシクロスベルカイの途中で停車してるんだけど、モノトガスルトモテニダイオタシカメタラ、チーサイオトコノコガイテ。He jumped onto a truck, a, a delivery truck. その場で待機しててくださいその子が戻ってくるかもしれませんよ,よろしく頼むとにかく急いでくれ<笑>急いでくれ<笑>それとレンちゃん君はついていくわ足手まといにはならないからレンも同行させてちょうだい I think you finally get ready to see who she really is to finish show her true colors. She has a stake in it, so. Alright. Definitely gonna save before I go do any of this because that dialogue, boy. That's one thing I can say about this game, man. The dialogue in this game, it is long. Fantastic game. But boy. Uh. Oh, yeah, it won't even let me do the fast travel thing. All right, let's. Oh, shoot. Let's head straight on to the highway. Tio, Neno Tame, Shuhen was a good to Kriluka. Yo, Kai, this. Access. d 
どうやら町の近辺にはいないようですね60セルジュほど先に運搬車の反応はありましたけど<笑>えねえってことはまずは運搬車のところまで行った方が良さそうだなはいまあどうじょうか似たようなものを教授も持っていたけれどエプスタインの人たちも面白いおもちゃを作ったものねジ財団の最新技術の成果と似たようなものを持っていた、うん、あなたひょっとして<笑>それよりも今は先に進むことにしましょうかわいいかわいいあの子がかわいそうなことになる前にもちろんだとにかく急ぎましょう<笑>ねえ。The funniest part is she can, she can kill these things just as fast as other、uh, them. I'm not going to miss opportunities to do this.、Um, I want to just. Because the, the step that we're getting from some of these、uh, monsters is really good. So I want to collect it as much as I can. s e p h i t is a、uh, little tough. To come by unless you're killing things, so. So I guess we just follow along this path. Man, it's been a long time since we've been, like, I don't even remember this path. I didn't even mean it. That if Ren dies here, I didn't usually what I know about guest characters. If, if Ren gets hit and dies here, she, she literally dies. It's game over. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna see if I can do this. <laughs> Just for the fuck of it. <laughs> Unless it's a higher level than I,、uh, I remember. I think it was a level 20 something, wasn't it? Oh, it's 35. Hell no. No. At least I thought it was. I'm going slow. I'm going slow like that because I'm trying not to get in and up touching them, get into a fight. You gotta stop using it, that hyper speed thing when you get close to him. Nice, okay. Alright. Well, apparently it's not on here either. Good amount of water quad、uh, for this. Yeah, I'll use Ellie. She's shooting every damn thing.
Okay. <笑>いや、ロエ、ラウドセル。よかった。急いで来てくれたみたいだな。ええ。お待たせしました。ねえ、お兄さん。あの子がいなくなってから悲鳴やうなり声は聞こえなかった。ファイトファックカット。<笑
There we eat the blind. This is gonna be a piece of goddamn cake. Uh, let's see, there we eat the fire. Well, um I hit to hit him with the Omega strike. They're still landing the fucking hits. It's crazy. I mean, they, like, it's crazy. They, they still land the damn hits. I'm like, I did all that <laughs> for nothing. It's crazy. They are still landing these hits. That is just... Oh, it's a time barrier thing. Oh, yeah, that was... I keep on forgetting that one, uh... Hey, I guess I'll use Axel Rush again. Tears. sad man when you really know her story like this is hidden this is hidden hard for me man so it's it's really when you know her story it's like man it's 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 hits for real because so many bad things happen to Ren because of the same kind of thing like it it's really terrible the stuff that happened to her and watching her now like look at him like she doesn't understand why he's crying because at one point she had to dry all her tears up with the stuff that was happening to her. She couldn't like, crying felt was like, felt like a weakness to her. And then getting involved with some, like basically it's almost like the her 
her family moved on with a new kid, but it's because they think that she's dead. And it's like, it's heartbreaking, man. It just really, this is, this is a very heartbreaking scene right here. Right. He's basically a little brother. He's half, half, uh, and not, not like a, not like a, um, half brother or something like that. Like, that's our actual brother, like flesh and blood. So, I hope they resolve that one day, though, where she goes and she actually tells them who she is. Um, I would love to see that scene. Like to that's that's that would be probably one of the greatest scenes to me in this entire like series because it's such such a tragic tragic story she has and. You know, she chose just to not inter like intervene with her lives and let them live their lives. And she, because she had a, a separate life and separate path she's on now. But it's like, I really wish that that would happen one day. I just, I just want to see the scene. Like, I just, I think they owe it to fans to pay that, like, pay that off. That's just me. And this is this actually was the beginning of her defecting and breaking away from um well not I'm not gonna say the beginning, but this this kind of like it like helped push that further into her to break away from Ouroboros and everything that was going on. It's stuff that took place in the Sky Games also. Her relationship with Estelle and Joshua, that uh, especially with Joshua and um and Lue, uh that uh, began to help push because they, they Louve and uh, Josh are the uh, ones who saved her a long time ago, and um, she had basically nowhere to go and she became part of Ouroboros. And so they kind of became like these brothers, these people that she just trusted the most within it. And so, like, it was you know, and then it was difficult for her to face all the stuff in her past and now this stuff is starting to happen nope oh, okay all right well, didn't expect that <laughs> all right everybody with the tears okay <clears throat> and so you see she sees Colin as you know something that needs to be protected because she doesn't want him to go through what she went through she was once that pure innocent child free from the evils of the world but she had to face those evils and uh, like I said I'm, I'm thinking about doing a video on it talking about what happened because this is very tragic if you um i don't want to spoil it but i mean i spoil some stuff um with her past and how she's found by joshua and stuff like that but it's just a lot to talk about basically you know what I'm, i'll just give the gist of it if you don't know like for, for people who don't know so the gist of it is her family left uh her in the care of somebody because they were trying to I don't know if it was they were trying to make some money doing something or they had like a job or something they had to do they were like archaeologists so it was something like that they they were doing something a job and they were going to come back for her and she was just being taken care of by this person well this person uh you know did very bad things to her like they and prostituted her out and things like that to other people and stuff like that as a child and it broke her psychologically 
she created and manifested uh, man manifested um uh different people that were there with her helping her deal with the trauma when really there was really nobody there she was dealing with it all by herself and it it was it was very tragic like when you really dive deep into it it's it's a lot that that, that little girl went through and um uh, you know they would I think it was like they, they put scars on her or something. I gotta go back and, and go over the story again, but it was like she got scars from when she would act up or when she would like not do something. And pretty soon she was kind of lifeless. She was just like a lifeless doll that they would walk in and get her to go do all this stuff to these pedophiles and all these other people and stuff like that. I mean, you two probably gonna strike me saying that, but I'm just, I'm just being honest about what happened to her. And um, there's things I, I, I don't want to spoil on here because I, I know some people have don't know the story, they haven't played it, stuff like that. But I mean, hell, I'm, I might as well just start saying some of this stuff because, I mean, this series has been out for a while and you can read about this stuff, too. So just being completely honest, that's the full gist of it. But Joshua and Lube found the people, killed them um, and saved her basically is what happened and um i think they were just trying to i don't know if they were they went there on a mission it was some it was somehow they ended up going there and they saw what, what they were doing and then they killed him saved her she had nowhere to go so she followed them back to the grandmaster and they healed her as best they could different things like that and of course she started becoming an enforcer working with them for ouroboros but she just has a lot of psychological trauma and the Grandmaster used her psychological trauma to make her, to fuel her, to make her hate people. And it's just really sad to see that that's what it um, turned out to be. And now, you know, in the Sky game, she kind of comes across a stale. She sees that somebody can care for you type of thing and she starts to kind of have those psychotic breaks in between um even here another small psychotic break and it's just all bringing back up her past and you know what she dealt with at one point but she ev eventually she ends up finding home with Estelle and Joshua the brights and getting her um kind of getting dealing with her trauma and she becomes a part of the family you know but I just really w want to see them pay off her letting her family know she's still alive you know they, um and they their family thought when they when her family came back to find her to they, the building that uh josh that she was in the place joshua and louis they burned it down so they burned it down so they thought that she died with everybody else and that's why she's that's why the mom was like it could be happening again and stuff like that so they, they've been thinking this whole time Ren, Ren is dead so and she was, I think, I think she was a baby when they left or like she was just really small. I can't think of what age it was. She was very, very young. So, yeah, that's the main gist of the story. So sorry to, you know, waste time doing that. But it just felt like it needed to be said so I can give context of what's going on. And she has been watching their family for years, so. Saki. その子の親御さんに連絡したよ。大急ぎで迎えに来るってさ。そう。君は一番の功労者だ。当然紹介するのが筋だとは思うんだけど。うーん。必要ないわ。電の名前も存在もその人たちに伝える必要はない。now voice change. Nah, Len. Kimi ga futsu no mono sashi de hakareru yona tada no onna no ko cha nai no wa wakatta. Ano ogama o toteki suru nōryoku. Kitty toshi no hacking gijutsu. Sono ko no ibashi o tokte shita ronni teki katsu tamen teki na suiri nōryoku. あまりに多彩すぎて現実味がないくらいだけど君がいわゆる本当の意味での天才であることは分かったよ。お兄さんやっぱりなかなか見どころがあるわね。そう。<笑> 
弁の本質はそこにあるあらゆる情報を取り込み処理し自らを含めた環境を適切に操作する。戦闘技術もハッキングも博士論文も人形の操作もお茶会の作法も全てはその本質によっていると言えるわ。は博士論文<笑> ?Was a doctor of this station? Damn! まあそれはいいか。<笑>つまり君にはわかるってわけだ。何をどうすれば自分の望みを叶えられるのかを<笑>そうよどんな望みでもレンは叶えることができるうん正確にはどうやったら世界にレンの望みを叶えさせればいいのか the first person to break that was a still and in you know it's kind of like So she's been. That's even why Estelle and Joshua are trying really hard to find her, too. She, yeah, I'll just say it's more manipulation. どんな願いでも世界が叶えてくれるお姫様。Hmm. でも今の君はどこに帰ればいいかわからなくて途方に暮れた子猫みたいに見える。Yeah. いや、帰るべき場所は本当はわかっているのかもしれない。なのにいくつもの大きな岩が帰り道を塞いでいて。帰れないそうなんじゃないのかあめんすては俺の直感と憶測だ見当違いだったら謝るよだが俺たちは特務支援課だ困っている女の子がいたらなるべく助けになってあげたいし一緒に帰ってあげることはできなくても岩を取り除く手伝いくらいはできる<笑>お兄さん推理だけじゃなくて妄想も得意だったみたいねあなたなんかに天の何がわかるっていうのもちろんわからないさそれに君が頼りたいと思う人は他にちゃんといるのかもしれないでも転がっている岩は一つだけじゃないんだろう俺たちにも任せられるようなそんな手ごろなサイズの岩はないかなそんなの<笑> This is hidden man for real ロイドハロルドさんが見えたみたいそちらにお通しするわねいやあそのなんだったらクローゼットの中に隠れてるか<笑>なあこちらにお通ししてくれええちょっと待っててね失礼しますあコリンよかった本当によかった Oh man, I wonder if they're gonna say stuff about her and she's there. Oh, Ren Chan, what? Ah, just a little bit of a problem. So, I'm going to close it and I'm going to close it. Eh? What's that? I'm going to close it. I'm going to close it. I'm going to close it. 本当にありがとうございました。なんとお礼を言ったらいいか。このご恩は決して忘れません。ねえ。そんな、どうか頭を上げてください。その、私たちも任務でコリン君を探しただけですし
いえいえ皆さんが見つけてくれなかったらコリンはこの子は本当に本当によかった大丈夫もう大丈夫だからふんどうしてそこまで <laughs> what do you mean? What are they doing there? <laughs> And the music ain't making it no better, man. No boy had fun. Mishino Kuruma, Oikakete, Shirana, Tomodachi, Moi, Pai, Dikte, Kakurembo, Ste, Nimots, Bakari, no Kuruma, Notara, Makura, De, Osoto, Nidetara, Sukok, Kire, De, Kiro, Chocho, Mitskete, Sole, De, Sole, De, Ne. The purple girl, oh man. Yeah, this shit is this shit is hidden, man. <laughs> it's hidden. Oh my god. Nobody's chopping onions in here, but you know it's 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 hidden though. Gorin. Mata neteshimatta ka. I love this series so much, man. Yokatara, sono mama nekasete agete kudasai. It's such great character building, and it's just the series is just fantastic, man. They just know characters. <clears throat> this isn't even part of the main story. It's just a quest, like, and this is hitting so hard right now. お導きかもしれないな。え。私その何か事情が終わりみたいですね。ああ、いえ。あなた私は大丈夫です。ここまでしていただいたのですから、少しは事情を話す。Oh <laughs> I think, yeah, I don't know if I should end here before they dive deep into this story because I'm pretty sure this is going to take a bit. Uh, let's see how far it goes. その、いたというのは、やはり。はい。不幸な事故で。いえ。事故ではありませんね。あの子は私たちが殺したようなものだったんです。え。そいつは。Man. 8年前。
yeah i'm gonna end here and when we come back uh we're gonna dive in because I, I i they're gonna go deep into it i didn't think they were gonna go into it like this but uh yeah this is uh this is ren's backstory coming up so yeah <laughs> we'll end here when we come back um that's what we'll be doing we'll be getting the rest of this going but man this is this is something already but uh, thank you guys as always. Come back for some more for the rest of Ren's story in this next one. I think they're gonna go deep in depth uh, on it like this. But yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna get uh, it, it's gonna tug at your heartstrings. I will say this because when I first heard about it, it 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 kind of got me. And it's like because I got kids of my own, and it's like man, like it's terrible. But uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Get back will be the Sims Friends story. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.